Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule Waves 3 as Japan where we try to fight every single European nation in the game. We uh, already got Russia, we got Britain and France last time, and now we're doing Germany. Let's get our uh, timer started. Now, we did get medium range submarines off of uh, Spain last time so we're going to go ahead and start building some of those to replace our existing coastal submarines because coastal submarines are not that great and we're just sort of gonna truck through this the reality is this war nothing interesting is gonna happen because we just can't Neither me nor Germany really share much in common when it comes to areas where we have bases. They have less capacity than us in the Indian Ocean, so they can't really have anything there. They have nothing in Southeast Asia. I have nothing in the South Pacific. Uh, so we just can't really do anything to each other. We're just kind of waiting for uh, the war to end really um you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have the shikishimas and the fuji all head back to northeast asia and i'm probably just gonna put them into reserve fleet so we can save some money uh, combat reports indicate that our standard range finder has serious deficiencies may i respectfully remind you that you endorsed this model a couple of years back sir Huh, maybe that's why we had such a hard time fighting or, you know, hitting the, uh, the British before. Well, not just the British, the French as well, but, you know, same difference. Is because our range finder is crap. Well, uh, apparently I was mistaken, so do whatever it is it takes to fix the problem. You guys, go on to reserve fleet. Save me a little bit of money. We're still losing a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad, so it's fine for me. Commission to the Navy. Diet authorizes war loans. Wonderful. Uh, spy from China. Give it maximum publicity. Weight savings on machinery is always nice. Now I have $2,000. A month. Um, yep. No, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and have you start working on the Kashima now as well. There we go. Now, um, we might as well take this opportunity to uh, try to rebuild our numbers. So, destroyers. We could use some more destroyers, particularly some good destroyers. How big can I build them? We can't build 1500s right now. Is 1100 the largest? Yes, 1100 is the largest that we can build right now. Do we have triple mounts? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Not going to give you mine sleeping gear. Um, I guess let's just go for 30, nah, no, 31's fine. I was going to say let's go for 32 knots, but eh, we don't really need that. And you know what? Sure, we'll slap a aft superimposed on there. Technically, it's not actually going to be able to use that firing arc realistically because you got this big ass mast in the back. Let's just ignore that, though. Con nope, we're going to decline that. Go ahead and just. Uh Queue up a full batch of 12 of those. Cruiser actions around the Philippines. They said no. 
German destroyer in Southeast Asia. I can't, oh, well. Of course, that is when we get triple mounts. Oh, well, that's fine. We can do a minor refit to replace those. Or, well, rather, to equip them. Spy from Russia, give it maximum publicity. At least we'd be able to fight Russia. Uh, there we go, Navy, naval aviation heavier than air. We sunk a German Q ship. We're going to set that to a high priority. Scharnhorst, Force 2, there we go. Better 12-inch guns, those are nice. Do I have coastal fortifications here? No, I don't. Let's build you some 6-inch coastal fortifications. Saves us a little bit of money now. Now, it should be noted, the Shikashimas can be refitted again back up to 12-inch guns now. And they get all the benefits of 12-inch guns again. Longer range than the 12-inch uh, guns, more penetration. They get all the goodies. So we could do that. It's just a question of do we. I'm inclined to say yes, but part of the issue is that we don't actually have the weight to really do that. Um, well, we can if we change our engine priority back to normal, which is fine, and, you know, obviously switch the propulsion to oil and turbine instead of coal and turbine. Hmm. If I wasn't losing a ton of money right now from other stuff, I would probably do it. We're going to decline that because I don't have enough stuff there. Thanks for the additional money. Don't let them off lightly. Oh, well, we ended up uh, letting them off lightly. Which, you know, does suck. But, oh well, that's fine. Everybody head back to Northeast Asia. This is rate of fire penalty for guns below 8 inches in turrets. Wonderful. Still waiting for some of these guys to get back. Better pre-battle. Enemy strength assessments. Wonderful. Stop the intelligence on the Germans, because we don't really need it. Revolution has taken place in China. The imperial regime is overthrown. Much of China is thrown into turmoil. Hainan is in revolt. Wei Hai Wei is in revolt. The Liao Tung Peninsula is in revolt. Why the fuck are our shit in revolt? Game. Why is my shit in revolt? Okay. I'm gonna have to send a squadron down into Southeast Asia to make sure the stuff down there doesn't rebel. Well, I don't think any of it actually is in rebellion. No, Hainan is. Quang Chao Wan isn't. Hong Kong isn't. Shanghai isn't. Kaicho Bay isn't. Okay. And that's annoying because that's, you know, money that I could have been saving. But, yeah. Can't do that now. Oh, well. Granted, the guys on foreign station that we have, a lot of them are in Southeast Asia with a couple in the Indian Ocean. 
in theory, the, all the guys being in Southeast Asia should prevent those guys from successfully rebelling, but just to be on the safe side, we're sending a fleet down. Like, an actual fleet. Larger torpedo warheads, wonderful. I do, I, again, I do think it is silly that just because China has a rebellion that all of my stuff that I took from China almost 20 years ago now, it's more like, well, yeah, no, actually a little over 20 years ago because the game started 1890. It is 1914 right now. This, no, no, there might be an increase in unrest potentially, but I don't believe that they should be an open rebellion. Alliance between Russia and Spain expires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get right on building more. Bullshit. We're going to war with China. I'll get right on that. Uh, go to those turret designs. Thank you very much. I have no clue what the hell the game was thinking there. Yeah, screw it. Those can be case mated. I don't know why you're always defaulting to coal and turbines still. You really shouldn't be. And 10 inch guns game, 10 inch guns. Because I, don't, I wouldn't be able to refit the 9-inch guns to 10-inch guns, but I can refit 10-inch guns to 9-inch guns. And theoretically, if the Shikishimas are anything to go by, I should be able to then refit them back as well if I needed to. But I don't need to do that because they're not negative 2 quality 10-inch guns. God damn it. Inch belt, two inches all on those places. Make you larger. Move those torpedoes because again, I don't want them. Hundred and fifty rounds. Case mate those so they don't get the penalty. And then I am fine with you just being like 28 knots. So we'll do a 17,000 ton armored cruiser and move that gun forward so it's not like literally right on top of where the um, conning tower is. Full 250 rounds per gun for the secondaries. Deck extended, make you to 17,500. There we go. Three months to get those out. Panama Canal's open, 1,500 ton displacement destroyers. The rebels in New Aberdeen defeated the French forces. They gained their independence. Oh, yeah. 
My name continues. Two of those. Proceeds to join. But we managed to keep Liaotung Peninsula, so again, annoyingly, we're gonna have to go toward fucking China again. I mean, I don't mind doing it, but I was kind of preferring to just go war reps, which, I mean, technically we still can. Um, yes, I could definitely build ships to, uh, be better than what the Russians have apparently brought on a goodwill visit if I had more money. Which is not completely inaccurate. Yes, go ahead, develop a fighter, range, and speed. We still need to, you know, build the air bases. Let's go ahead and build air bases everywhere. Because it never hurts to just have tons of air bases. Except for the fact that it does hurt your budget. But we'll survive. Um, how about no? You don't need the yacht, trust me. Superimposed X mount on CLs. Upheaval in Borneo. Well, you know, someone must shoulder the burden. We fucked up and uh, immediately went into having a rebellion in Borneo, so that's fun. So we gotta try to deal with that now as well. We'll survive. Probably. Let's go ahead and scrap the coastal submarines because they're not particularly useful. So, what are my options for rebuilding you? I would have to go down to single gun turrets, which basically makes you useless. Or I make you into a light cruiser of sorts. Because the next tier down, that gives me something that's not a negative two quality gun, is six inch guns. I'm not a fan of these, so I think we're just going to go ahead and scrap the Asama and Tokiwa because they're not really doing anything for us anymore. Uh, the Chiyodas, I think, still have a bit of use, but not quite as much as they would like. They don't have above. Above water tubes for CLs yet. Thought we did. But I'm misremembering because I did go in uh copy the game save over to another file and uh play for a bit myself. So how fast can I make you guys? 24 knots at most. The uh, turret top's just a little bit beefier. And I'm fine with this. This is really expensive refits, but we need to do them anyway. Okay. 
those bases, which is going to save us some money. Be as important. Taka because we can't really afford it. Pretty sure I don't have any plane designs yet. Oh, well, spoke a little too soon. We do now. And these are basically all copies of one another for the most part. Um, there's basically zero reason to go with anything other than the Mitsubishi because it has the longer range. And uh, that's really the only difference between these. The Nakajima and Kawashini, or, uh, Kawanishi rather, um, are basically clones of each other. With the Nakajima having worse maneuverability and toughness. But beyond that being the same as the Kawash Kawanishi, the Mitsubishi is basically better across the board in many ways. I mean, it's the same max speed and whatnot, but it has a bit better range, a bit better maneuverability than the other two options. Same toughness as the Kawanishi. So, yep, go with that one. Get ourselves a float plane scout. Again, prioritize range and then speed. Uh, I'm going to say no. This guy is below average. He may be well connected, but he is below average. Rebellion in Borneo continues. Target designator. Working on early air launch torpedoes. Yep, I know we don't, but we're working on it. Light cruiser, five, six inch guns, bit better invasion stuff, which actually we're going to kick that up to high because I do care about getting that stuff. See, plane carrier, float plane scouts. Go for the one with the most range, which would be the Kawanishi this time. Rebellion in Borneo continues still. Naval patrol aircraft. You want at least 10 more additional cruisers. Well, you're going to have to give me a lot more budget for that. Um, but sure, I will try to meet those. See. Did we not finish designing the uh light cruiser? I guess we didn't. Oh no. Never mind, I forgot. Those were that was the refit of the um Chiotas. Um yeah, let's go ahead and build ourselves a new one. Eight thousand is the largest it can be. Let's do F and G now. J and K, maybe. Yeah, those are actually the furthest back, so. Do those, move them slightly so that they're not sitting on top of the little boat figures. A, X, and Y, but not dual turrets because we can't do dual turrets. Or at least there's a good enough penalty for trying to use dual turrets. I think deck extended is the one you can't do, right? No, it's upper belt. Yeah, upper belt is one you can't do with all or nothing. Uh, apparently, we've already put the uh, the mine racks in. Yeah, or the mine rails rather. Even though we actually can't put mine rails on our ships yet, but we're just gonna ignore that. 
Uh, let's do 160 rounds. No, 150 is fine. Um, I'd like to get some wing turret stuff going in on here. If we can. go need to switch that to normal uh, you don't need to be 30 knots so let's just do like 28 um, or, you know I guess we can do 29 that's fine whatever now we can we can do 28 nope you need to you need to somehow use up 20 okay fine we'll just do like 200 rounds of ammo. That's fine. Whatever. Fine with that. Yep. We'll do it like this. Gives us a fair bit of weight to uh, maybe add mines in the future and upgrade the torpedoes and stuff and of course our fire control. Two months to get those out. Um, let's go ahead and I think queue up, I guess, two more Nishans. You're not getting the 12 cruisers that you want because you just did not give me nearly enough budget to afford that. Sure, I'll take that if you're going to give me a discount. Uh, political murder in the Balkans. Demand that the guilty are brought to justice. Isn't this in, like, fucking the Mediterranean or some shit? Yes. No, game. We're not... We're not gonna try to take fucking Croatia. No matter what, it's not an option. Seriously. Game was like, hey, do you want to try to take Croatia? Sure, if I want to get into a big fight with the Italians. And it's not like it's that great of a place. It's not going to give me that much in the way of base capacity. N not nearly enough to be able to, you know, threaten the Italians. And it's just another place that's way too far away for me to be able to reasonably do anything with. Maybe. The better design there. Yep, I know I'm not fulfilling the requirement, but I don't got the money. Great Britain. Um, I I will not comment on policy issues. Okay, Yashimas. Do I have anything I can do with you guys? I don't think so. I think you guys are as good as you... Well, actually, I could give you a refit to switch you to oil and turbine instead of coal and turbine. And I could up your speed by one knot. That's expensive, but fuck it, we'll do it. Said that I don't, I didn't do what you wanted, but I didn't have the money for it. 
Prime Minister floats the idea of a gunnery competition. Who's going to get it? It's going to be the Akitsushima. What the hell's the Akitsushima? Yo, oh, it's one of our Yoshinos. Wow, good for you. We're going to halt. Um, yeah, we'll halt both those nations. We need to build up our funds a little. Okay, and we're pissing off the British again, so that's always fun. Yep, let's try to get a torpedo bomber. Calm down. Really don't feel like fighting them. Their fleet tonnage has gone down a fair bit, but yeah, no, still not interested in fighting them. At least not by ourselves. Uh, no, that is worse than the current one that we have. Let's check relations. Anybody upset with the British? Uh, nope, everybody loves Britain. Spy has managed to get a hold of the blueprints for the latest Chinese improved 8 inch guns. Quality zero. Wonderful. Two coastal batteries. You don't have any coastal batteries. Let's build you some. Um, yeah, let's try not to get into another fucking war with both France and uh, Great Britain, so let's try to lower tensions with France. Uh, and the Aichi has the better range, so that's the one we're going to go with. I don't think that worked. There we go. Conversions to light aircraft carriers, which we're going to want to get. So we're going to be converting. Uh, I think we're going to go and convert the Fuji. I mean, it needs to do an extensive refit anyway, so why the hell not? And I think I can get you to... No, damn, I can only get you to 23. Drop those down to 5-inch guns. Drop those to 4-inch guns. Drop that. Just drop the tertiaries entirely, in fact. Uh, lower those, the turret armor, because it doesn't need to be there. Also, we can't use centerline turrets, of course. Thirty rounds, something like that. Thirty rounds per gun to not get that penalty. You're complaining about the number of secondaries, which I okay, whatever. Frankly, I think I'd rather just have the secondaries, and I'll I'll suck up the rate of fire penalty. They've got more than enough guns anyway. No, okay, no, that makes it CV. I can't do a CV conversion yet. So how large, how many, 24 air capacity is the most I can give you. Okay. Still leaves me with seven 
you know, we're not going to bold you. We don't need to bold you, apparently, so that's fine. Yep. This works. Well, excuse me, it's the, uh, the, the Heisen, rather. Not the Fuji. I've been meaning to cancel the uh, auto build submarine things. Um, we have 51 currently built or in queue combined. And actually decent reliability. They're in the 70s. Back our ally unconditionally. Director firing. Unit machinery. Britain continues to get pissed about me supporting my allies in Asia. Also, I don't know who my allies in Asia are, but apparently I have some. Okay, there we go. You have to go up to uh, 27 knots to still be a battle cruiser. Uh, we'll just do 27 because... That makes it to where you're only a 12-month build. We'll just, I guess, use the extra weight to add some more ammo to the secondaries and tertiaries. Oh, yes, and of course, switch you to oil and turbine. This is an expensive rebuild, but whatever. We need our ships to be the best of the best they can be. Germany and America have signed an alliance. That's not fun. Um, also, everybody in Southeast Asia... Have them come back. Reserve fleet all the people we can. Go. We're still making a little bit of money. Uh, sure. Sua wins that. Dual purpose three and four inch guns. Oh, we need to also upgrade our bases. Put us into losing money again. Do that one. I don't want to piss off the fucking British any further. The Awate has 10 inch guns. We actually don't have upgrades for those. I thought we did. Apparently, I was wrong. It's out of 25 knots. That's fine. Get rid of those.
docks completed, that'll free up about 1,800. No to that. Of course, that kicks the British up and over. Hey, Germany, shouldn't you be wanting to fight Britain? You know, that's one of your big things, historically. And yet you're not doing it. Twenty one knots. So we'll get that. That's fine. Get rid of those torpedoes because they're just going to get us killed. And this is, you know, probably the worst time to be doing those rebuilds. But hey, they, uh, they see that we are weaker or something, and so they've backed off. No, we're not going to do that right now because Britain's on our case. And we need to get some of these rebuilds finished before... They get pissed off at us. Yeah, I don't mind embarrassing Russia. Let's go ahead and get a new fighter design out. Italy and Russia sign an agreement. New float plane scouts, we're sending our current one. Belt, purpose built CVLs. New float plane scout, this one is better, at least when it comes to range, which is the important bit for me. Nope, don't do that. I'll do it myself. Okay, relations between France and Germany are tense. I'm fine with that. Redock size increase. There we go. Better 10 inch guns. Bit late. Um,. Those would have been useful a little while ago, but whatever. Uh, the Yakimos can be refitted to have those anyway, and they need to go in to get their... Why can I not give you guys increased elevation? That seems strange, but okay, game. Um, I'm just going to try to ignore the weirdness there. How fast can I make you guys 29 knots? Uh, we can't exactly actually make you 29 knots, though. You're currently 26. We can make you a bit faster at 27. France and America have signed an agreement, which means France or uh, Germany and America are going to potentially end up in a war with each other. Yeah, beating the army is top priority. We soundly beat the army in an epic game. Wonderful. Further free dock size increases are always nice. New fighter, it is worse than the one that we just got. Uh, torpedo bomber. Yeah, we can probably do better than that, right? Uh, 
Okay, now. Game is saying, hey, government is concerned about tensions leading to war. So, we can either call for an international disarmament conference. We ain't doing that. Uh, if you want peace, arm for war, spend more on the Navy, which, you know, is certainly true as an option. Or we safeguard our interests by negotiating an agreement with somebody. So, our primary adversary realistically is going to often be the British. We're going to have issues defeating the British Navy because it's just the, it's the fucking Royal Navy. You know, this is 20th century Royal Navy. Yeah, no, that's not going to be a fun thing to try to fight. So. Who are the primary adversaries of the Royal Navy in the 20th century? Well, Germany and France, really. So when it comes to that, our best options is to get an alliance with one of those two. Unfortunately, tensions are a bit high with both of them sitting at six. So it is very unlikely that they will be interested in any sort of agreement between the two of us. So we're going to go the roundabout way. Tensions between France and everybody else are, you know, or excuse me, Britain and everybody else are okay. So Italy's the only one that's sort of up there besides us, and I don't consider Italy a particularly good ally. And we'll look at the Almanac for sort of why. But for me, the main reason is just because they're not in Northern Europe, they're in the Mediterranean, which so they're not going to, you know, threaten the uh, the British home isle, you know, home areas. So they're not going to be quite as inclined to need to station a large fleet or, you know, maintain a large fleet in Northern Europe if I don't have an ally or a war happening in Northern Europe with them. So again, like I said, our best friends really to fight the British are the French and the Germans. So Germany has an alliance with the Americans. Our tensions with the Americans are very low. So I think the obvious answer to this is if they're willing to do it, an alliance with the Americans. Unfortunately, however, the U.S. already has two allies, and this game does not allow you to have more than two allies at any given point in time. So we can't really do that. So we need to determine, okay, well, who's the next best option? Well, the Russians came to our aid the last time we had to fight the British, unlike the Americans. Um, so I'm honestly kind of inclined to say, you know, the Russians, while they were slow to join in, they did a decent job of keeping the British fleet occupied. Granted, they're going to probably do a worse uh, job of keeping the British. Well, actually, no, they kind of lines with Italy. Because they have that alliance with Italy, maybe not. Ooh, okay. Again, though, that just basically gives us an alliance with Italy. But, oh well. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> okay, well, guess we're, uh, we're going with Russia again. Because they're the only one who's really is worth a damn when it comes to trying to get an alliance with. Uh, Spain's just not worth it. They, they're way too small. They're considered a backwater technologically. They're just too far behind the curve to really go and be worth it. Yeah, sure, they have more dreadnoughts than us, but that's just because we haven't really had an opportunity to build ours up. And, you know, we still have six pre-dreadnoughts in service. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to go with Russia for an alliance. But negotiations failed to produce results, unfortunately. Damn. Shipbuilding industry has developed considerably is now on par with that of other nations. Dock size increases by a thousand tons. I don't know why it increases just because of that, but okay. That, that seems like a weird reason to increase if we're being honest. But we're at 40,000 tons, which is nice. Oh, send a, a squadron to bombard the uh, Chinese capital. I don't know what the Chinese capital is at this time, historically.
Oh, even better 10-inch guns. Wonderful. The Yakimos are literally doing a refit, partly just to ink to give them the better guns, and uh, god damn it. Um, yes, I will buy your 15-inch guns, even though I do not necessarily plan to use 15-inch guns. Oh, and IG has a, uh, a better option already. Yep, we're going to go for that. Game was uh, taking a while to load there. Nope, I'll do it myself. Push for an international force. I don't see a good reason to send an ultimatum to the U.S. because they're trying to take Cuba. Uh, go for the win. No idea if we won. But time to design ourselves a brand new battleship. And we're not doing a fucking midship turret game. Seriously. Why are you trying to do that? Big, big battleship. Very big battleship. Um, and you know what? Screw it. We will use 15-inch guns, even though I don't usually use 15-inch guns. Forty is the most, so 16 tertiaries. Skip the torpedoes. This thing should not be getting anywhere near the enemy to be able to use torpedoes. And 26 knots is the most we can give it. I want 100 rounds though, so 25 knots is the most we can give it. Now the question is... Do we do the 3-2 configuration of turrets here? With a triple and a double, forward and aft? Or do we just do two doubles? Significantly lighter in terms of weight. Whoops. Significantly lighter in terms of weight. Get our speed up. What speed? Okay, at 31 knots, you say this is a battle cruiser, not a battleship. Uh, okay, sure, whatever you say. Um, what's our current? Um, Yashima 26. Okay, I don't want to be less than what the Yashima is. So let's see what we can do to make this work. So this gives us not quite what I'm looking for, but again, yeah, I can't squeeze in the uh, the forward and aft three two stuff with this. And I really want that. I really do. There we go. That allows me to squeeze it in. 14 inch turrets, which is okay, I guess. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. I'm fine with this design. It works. This is the Setsu. Four months to get that designed. Um, oh yes, right. Destroyers. 
we need more of those. Um, oh, what's this? Uh, yes. Lower tensions with Britain. I have zero issues with fighting anybody uh, except for Britain. Britain is the one person that I really don't want to fight unless I absolutely have to. Because they are a royal pain to fight. And they will ignore the penalties that they get for having too many ships in Southeast Asia. They don't give a shit. Can we do an aft superimposed as well? There we go. So we have four. And sure, we'll give you some light AA, because why not? And the reality is I struggle to see a reason to make destroyers faster than 32 knots for the most part. I don't know if there is... Uh, okay, 40 knots looks to be the absolute max that the game will let you go. We could squeeze you out to 33, but then you don't really have any weight remaining for future upgrades. Also, those need to be 5-inch guns, not 4-inch guns game. Yeah, we'll do 32. That's fine with me. We could afford to do unit machinery. They got the weight. It's only 20. Ah, uh, well, uh. so destroyers don't generally survive getting hit for the most part. And I don't really know if unit machinery would make enough of a difference. Inclined belt increases the effectiveness of the belt, but increases cost, and there will be a small risk that shells are deflected into the TPS. I assume that's supposed to be torpedo protection system. That would be the most logical conclusion. Yeah, because TPS is used down here for torpedo defense. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, we're not going to do un unit machinery. It doesn't really matter for destroyers. They don't survive getting shot. I think you said we needed 13, right? So... We'll build 12, and uh, then I'll just build six more, I think. Whoops. Go aircraft carrier conversions. Theoretically, what was it, the Hizune? Oh, what's this? Germany. Oh, yes, Germany. Uh, we will enter this Germany, yes. But then negotiations bogged down. We're going to blame the Germans for that. And the French did not like that one bit, and I can't say I blame them. Um, Where is it? Yeah, the Heisen. Theoretically, I can... Whoops. Redesign you and give you one more and make you a CV. Instead of a CVL. Does it really matter? Not really. Because you don't need to convert to a CV, as far as I know, to do anything. You just need that one conversion to a CV. Um, well, I actually don't know if Rule of Waves 3 still requires you to have one ship converted to a CVL um, to be able to continue researching. So we didn't actually design a CVL now. Not that we really have the funds to do it, but we could. Uh, 30, thank you very much. Also, how large can I build you? I can build you pretty big, can't I? Can't be any larger than 16,000 tons. That's fine with me. 
Don't have a reason to build anything larger than 16,000 tons. My timer is about to go off. Normal engine priority, unit machinery, oil and turbine. The rest of that stuff I'm fine with as it is. Maybe just some more secondaries. Any sh cannot have more than thirty four aircraft. Okay, okay. We'll we'll do thirty four. I find that to be a weird number to choose, but whatever. Okay, so we can we can make you thirty knots, which. 30 knots is a bit of a weird one, because then you're a little too fast. Well, you know what? I think what we can do is we can put a bit of armor on this stuff. Just a little bit. Have a bit on the deck. A bit on, uh, three inches on the belt. And uh, 24 knots, so you just barely classify as be not getting the uh, the penalty to uh, spot value. Or do we just do 2 inches on the belt and 25 knots? Let's do 2 inches on the belt and 25 knots, because if you fail to hit your design speed and you're at 24, you'll go down to 23, and then you'll get the penalty anyway. So this gives you a little bit of protection, not tons, but you got some. Not that you should be getting shot at in the first place, but you know. Just because you shouldn't be doesn't mean you won't be. Does that give you any real benefits? I don't think it does. Uh, no, your immunity zone doesn't change at all. That's the Zui Ho. That's going to be a while until it's actually even put into service. Naval visit from Spain. Um, rust buckets. Better 16, well, not better 16 inch guns. We got 16 inch guns now. Not that we are going to use those. Uh, well, screw it. We'll embarrass the US. Rework this design because we got some weight savings just now, and I'd like to have those incorporated. That's fine. Um, Germany is seeking improved relations with us due to rising tensions with France. Well, obviously, we should increase our cooperation with Germany. As we proceed to piss France off, Russia appears to be considering a rearmament program. Um... What does a Russian battleship look like? 9, 14, god damn, but the midship turrets. Oh my god. These Russian designs are horrible. Like, seriously, these are horrible, horrible designs for dreadnoughts. Also, 10 inches of belt armor. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to do you much good. Uh, nope, that's a hideous battle cruiser. That's the same design. That's a more traditional design, but it's still not that great.
Russia, your ally is Italy. We're, we're going to say their ships are no threat to our better equipped and trained navy. I should probably be moving ships to uh, Southeast Asia because clearly we're going to be going to war soon. Okay, that's the Yashimas. Let's get the Nishans there. And the Minikazes. You will be moved to Battle Division 1. Yes, you can. Wonderful. Okay, Battle Division 1. Yeah, Battle Division 1, you're going to move to Southeast Asia alongside Battle Division 3. Let's get the CV. Designed there. Your role is going to be to screen for the carrier division, even though that's not really something you guys are going to be good at because you're the shitty little 300 ton destroyers, but whatever. It's not like you have anything else you can do that's good. I mean, you're also not even really going to be a good screen either because you don't even have um, dual purpose guns anyway, but whatever. Um, you're going to also move to Southeast Asia. That way, if war does break out, we are in a position to be able to hopefully get a surprise attack on Anam or uh, Chochin, China. One of the two. But since my timer would have already gone off about seven or so minutes ago, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. I will see you all next time. It looks like we're on the brink of war again with France, but luckily this time France doesn't have any... Well, actually, that's not true. France does have a friend. France is allied with the U.S. Um, which is kind of an interesting thing because the U.S. is allied with Germany, and Germany's not friends with France. So... Uh, Depending upon how this goes, the U.S. is going to effectively be forced to pick a side, in a sense. Um, and I think what will end up happening is that we'll probably end up in a war against France first. The U.S. will uh, probably join in at some point. Maybe not immediately, but they will eventually. Germany might eventually then proceed to find themselves also at war with France. And America is saying, hey, I'm fighting Japan with my buddy France. And now you're picking on my buddy France. We can't be friends anymore. It's more than likely how that'll play out. Annoyingly, we don't seem to be getting a lot of events to go to war with China. And I'm assuming that's because China's doing everything in their power to avoid going to war with us. Uh, because they realize that they got their ass kicked before and their situation has not really gotten any better. So they're just going to get their ass kicked even further at this point. Um, if we ended up going to war. So, yeah. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to wait that stuff out. Yeah. Those, those designs are going to take a while. Um, but yeah, so I will see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.